CCTV News gathers information from town meetings and events, departmental updates, and COVID-19 here in York County and Berwick. BCTV News will be shown daily at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Comcast channels 95 and 22, as well as streaming at www.berwicktv.org. It will also be available on demand and via our YouTube channel. The town manager and board of selectmen regret to inform residents there will be no trunk and treat program or annual holiday parade this year. Given the current COVID-19 situation in York County and the recommendations by the Maine CDC, they believe it is it is in the best interest of all to cancel these extremely popular events. Residents are also encouraged to skip trick-or-treating this year. Alternatives to trick-or-treating might be virtual gatherings online where kids can see each other's costumes and share spooky stories. You might set up a small outside gathering with fewer than 10 people where social distancing can easily be maintained, or a car parade that goes through your neighborhood. The parking lot on Sullivan Street is ready to use. There are additional granite blocks to be set to help delineate the parking area. The lot is going to remain gravel, so there will be no lined parking. The Berwick Public Works has started ditching on Little River Road. The plan is to have the road reclaimed and repaved in the next few weeks. Cranberry Meadow Road was originally slated for reclaiming and repaving. However, it was felt that Little River Road posed more of a danger to drivers given the curves and the road conditions. From the Berwick Town Report for the year ending March 1st, 1875. The appropriations were... State tax, $3,210.95. County tax, $1,015.21. Support for the poor and incidentals, $8,824. Public schools, $3,000. Highways and bridges, $4,000, overlay, $848.10, supplementary, $180.68, for a total of $21,078.68. In the June, in June of 1874, the town collected $30 for two circus licenses. Some interesting expenses were $80 for printing the town reports, several payments to repair wagons damaged by town roads and bridges, and apparently Berwick paid people $2 to bury horses. Another notable expense was to pay the three selectmen to perambulate the town borders. This came from the British custom to walk around a parish to officially record its boundaries. We have not found any record of the last time a perambulation has taken place, but with today's technologies, it can be done with satellites. COVID-19 cases for York County include 1,031 cases with 918 confirmed, 113 probable, 15 deaths, 92 hospitalizations, and 864 recoveries. Berwick remains at 17 probable and confirmed cases. BCTV News is a recap of meetings, events, and town happenings. If you have a news item that you think we should cover, send your request to bctv at berwickmaine.org. BCTV is completely funded through franchise fees from Comcast. We are a nonprofit entity and we are bound by the rules established for public access stations by the FCC. 
Berwick residents who subscribe to Comcast may watch our public educational videos on Channel 22 and our government meetings, departmental, and informational videos on Channel 95. Both channels run 24-7 and are streamed at www.berwicktv.org.